now that you've seen some actual metadata in action, uh, let me bring up an issue that I've mostly been avoiding up to this point, but that you've probably figured out by yourself already. And that is the question of what is data and what is metadata, right? What is the object being described versus what is metadata about that object? Um, so most of the examples that we've been using so far have been descriptive metadata, so let's stick with that. But I want to use a different kind of descriptive metadata. I want to use data from the United States Census. Now, for those of you who aren't United States citizens, every 10 years the U.S. federal government conducts a census of every household in the United States in order to collect data about the current state of the population and economy in the United States. That data collection is a complicated process. It takes months and is a major effort by the, the federal government and the Census Bureau. But this is what the census form looks like that I and all US citizens fill out. Um, although actually that's not completely accurate. Every citizen of the United States of the United States doesn't fill out this census form. The level of data analysis of the census is the household. So only one person per household needs to fill out the census form about the household itself. And I won't go through the entire census form here. So I fill out this form with information about me, information about everyone in the household I live in. From my point of view, the census is collecting descriptive metadata about my household. How many people are in it? You know, what are our incomes? What are our race and ethnicity, etc. Descriptive metadata about the household. So once that data is collected, the Census Bureau cleans the data, does whatever analysis they're going to do, and eventually releases that data to the public. Now, the last US Census was in 2010, and that data has now been made public so that anyone can download all or parts of that really enormous data set. So, that descriptive metadata that was collected about my household and every household in the US has now become data, right? So what's metadata and what's data? It depends on where you sit. Now, to make things even more interesting, um, metadata gets created about some of the census data sets. You know, uh, when it was released, you know, what it contains, etc. So is that Meta metadata, right? If metadata were created about this page, would that be meta meta metadata? So the thing about data is that it's not a thing. Data is kind of a job. So the definition of what data is is flexible, right? Similarly, the difference between data and metadata, between the object being described and description of the object is also flexible and frankly sometimes just subjective. So what I'm telling you is that this course is about something that's difficult and maybe impossible to pin down. Right? In information science we study all of these very weird subjective phenomena. Right? No gravity or electromagnetism or, or you know, no well-behaved physical phenomena for us here in information science.